Hey you guys, what's up? Happy Thursday. How are you? It is raining here. Pretty dark, I'll tell you that. Um, but I decided that I wanted to go to Ulta to see what new goodies they have. You guys know I upload these videos, I would say once a month-ish, just to kind of like <laughs> see what they have. <laughs> You know I repeat myself a million times, right? I did upload a video like this for Sephora yesterday. If you guys missed out on that, it's I'll leave a link below. It's the video I put up yesterday. They had a bunch of new goods. And I think that Ulta like, also is supposed to just have a lot of new stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited. Let's see what's up. And let's go shopping. Also, I have the Starbucks Blonde Cold Brew. Yeah? Yeah. It's pretty good, I'll tell you that. It's my first time getting it. The straw is really too small for this. I got it with whipped cream, um, and I, I like it because it's not as sweet as the other drinks, do you know what I'm saying? I never get such a huge size. She just made a mistake, and she's like, oh, here, I'm like, oh, I ordered like a small. She's like, okay, here, I'm like, okay. <laughs> Trenta it is! Rufka and I was like, Trenta! Okay, fine, let's go. <laughs> okay, so walking into Ulta, here is what we're working with. Everything is situated beautifully. Yeah, let's start shopping. I'm so excited for this. Okay, so starting off in this section here, I spotted the Tarte display. They recently released this Shape Tape Cloud coverage. I want to say foundation type of product. It doesn't specifically say. The product looks amazing. It says it has medium to buildable coverage. It has a matte finish. So I don't know if I personally would like it. Light as air, 24 hour moisturizing. It's also vegan and it retails for $39. It looks really good and has like a nice mush to it. Love the packaging. And then here are all the shades that they have. So I typically wear light beige, I want to say. I think this might be my shade. But yeah, they have, I want to say, about maybe like 20-ish shades to choose from. So we have more here in the back. I do like the Shape Tape Concealer, by the way. It's a pretty good one. All right, and then Dolce & Gabbana recently released this brand new perfume, which looks so good. This is the Lily Perfume. I love the original one, so hopefully I like this. It is a toilet, so I don't know how long it's gonna last on the skin, but this is a one fluid ounce size. They have this one, and then I wanna see the roller ball available as well. It doesn't say the prices of these, though. Okay, this is so exciting. I did not expect to see this in store. This is the brand new Wild Greens palette by Urban Decay. The display is so cool. I am so into this. I'm not obsessed with the packaging, I'll tell you guys that, but the colors look so yum. So first up, they have the Wild Lash Mascara. Um, here are some of the claims, and then here's what the box looks like. I have decent luck with their mascaras. I'm curious about this one. It has coconut, sunflower, avocado, minerals, and other goodies in there. It says also it's 99% nat naturally derived. Looks good. And then here's what the palette looks like. Their tester is in here, but there are nice neutral shades and then greens that are included in here. Obsessed with these, and green is like one of my favorite colors to wear as well as browns. So, I don't know, it's so exciting. I put one in my little basket. I'll show you guys what I got in an Ulta haul, but so thrilled about this one, and it is $44. The mascara is $26. I'm obsessed with this display, by the way. Like, obsessed is not the word. In this section here, they have some brand new It Cosmetics items. So this right here is the Superhero No Tug Shadow <laughs> Stick. $24 each. Here you guys can see a diagram of how it looks on the eyes. And so there are also two different finishes. A matte finish and a pearl. Kind of similar to the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. But they just came out with their own version. And then there are also like a bunch of shades to choose from. Here you guys can see kind of like what we're working with. Really, really pretty colors. I feel like they would be great for like a day-to-day -day basis. You have, I would say mainly cooler tones, but some neutral slash warmer tones as well. Really nice. Then in this section, you see me. So ColourPop has this brand new collection. They come out with so many different collections, so I don't even know what's new and what's not, but I think that these are brand new. Uh, these are their little quads, retailing for $10 each. We have this one in coconut. It includes one matte, one satin, like two metallics I want to say. This is strawberry sweet. You get two mattes with this one and then two metallics. It's like a reddish type of orange palette. I do like the name of this one. I say you baby. I love us able so this hits home for me. We get one matte one with like one shade. This one right here is like a matte with glitters and then two metallics up there. And this right here is on the mango. It's more of like the orangey palette. Two mattes, no three mattes and one metallic here. We also have some of these lip oils here from the same collection. I don't know where the, um, what's it called, testers are at. I just found one. They have this as an option, the by the bushel 
uh, lip scrub in strawberry. Then they have this pressed blush. And then this one, oh, their packaging is always so adorable. This is toffee cake. Okay, and then moving down to this section, they have this collection out. Also, I'm not really sure what the collection this is from, but it is their French Kiss Lip Cramps for $8 each. It's a creamy color, moisturizing liquid lip. Ooh, cool. So they have a bunch of like nude type of shades, um, mostly I would say, and maybe some like berry tones. So the box indicates like what the color of the lip product is gonna be. And then they also have more over here, but these are the satin lip products. So here are like what the shades look like. So yeah, a lot of nice neutral nude tones. This is like more of like a terracotta red, and then we have berry tones back here. I kind of wanted to show you guys the glam netic nail section. Here is what the display looks like. And for some reason it kind of is speaking to me because I've been into like doing my nails differently lately. Uh, so they have these as options. They're $18 per, like each pack is 18 bucks. But the designs are so cute. And if you have a hard time doing your nails or you just don't have time to go to the salon, I think this could be a nice option, you know? Love the designs and then you have like the glue here for seven bucks. So I found more of the Glamnetic Press On Nails. They have this one. They have this so beautiful, I love it. I wish I could pull that off, I probably could. I have to hook it up. <laughs> then they have this. They also have, oh, how gorgeous, beautiful. And then I really love this one. I think this is like my favorite. It's kind of more of like a summery design, but still very nice. And like their nails look so good, you know what I'm saying? I'm loving it. They also have these, pretty cute. And then this, love it. Really something for everyone in this line, I wanna say. Uh, they have this. And then here, they have this one as well. They also have a bunch of drugstore items here, which I've gone over in my previous Ulta video, if you guys check that out. So items from like NYX mainly. And then down here we have, yeah, NYX as well. So lip products, brow products, all of that. And then in this section, we have some goodies from Maybelline. They have their new mascara, which is okay. I wasn't a massive fan of that. But then I'm so excited about this. I've been wanting this like 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 since I heard it's coming out. Um, so it's the Superstay Concealer. How awesome. They have the Superstay Foundation, but they just released this. And they have, I would say what, like, I don't know, um, 12 maybe shades to choose from, 10 shades to choose from. Definitely would love to pick it up. It says up to 30 hours. We'll see. Conceal, no heavy feel. Cool. Really, really nice, and the packaging is so like luxe. I have to tell you, I'm very impressed with drugstore lady. Really, like they're hooking it up. And then moving to this section here, we have the lifted sculpted brows, like the product, lifted sculpted brow product. Yeah, interesting. This is clear, and this is blonde. I'd probably take a clear just to kind of see what's up. Whoopsies. And then in this section, they had a brand new liner which is sold out completely, but this like looks pretty cool. And like, if I can do that with this liner, I will take it. And then down here, they have their new, I wanna say Sunkissed bronze collection. So yeah, basically they have new lifter glosses and like bronzy tone shades and then new lip products as well. I showed this in my previous Ulta video too. If you guys were wanting them, they have them in the store. These glosses in general, quality wise, 10 out of 10 for sure. In this section here, they have some items from Morphe. I know that this is probably one of their newer palettes. It's the Sweetest Tea artistry palette so it includes a bunch of like purples like pinky tone shades oranges and nudes like neutral shades um, we get matte and metallics um, I think that their bigger palettes are okay I don't know if they consistently get it better and better but yeah this is the newest one they recently released and they also have these lip kits as well which come with a lip liner a lip gloss and a lipstick uh, this one right here sold out but they do have this one and it's 18 bucks so they have this as an option. Their lip products are pretty good, actually. From the few I've tried, I thought that they were pretty nice. So there's that. And then also the palette is 28 bucks, if I didn't mention it. I also wanted to give the La Rouge Pose brand a little bit of a shout out. I just don't hear a lot of people speak about this brand, but I love their, um, what's it called? Cleanser, I'm like pretty much a quarter through with mine. It's so nice. It lathers up beautifully. It doesn't strip the skin. And this is for dry to extra dry skin, which is perfect for me. So if you're looking for a solid cleanser, that's great. And then just in general, their skincare products are really good. So I would recommend their stuff. Give them a little bit of love. Also, I did not know that they sell good molecules here at Ulta. I know that they sell it at um, Beautylish, but they have this brand here. It's an affordable skincare brand. If you guys are looking for anything, they pretty much have all of their goodies here. I really like those eye patches. They're pretty good. 
pretty good, pretty good. The music is so loud, I cannot. <laughs> they have some new goodies here from Truly. It was in collaboration with the Powerpuff Girls. When I saw this release online, I got so excited. So I haven't tried much from the Truly brand, but they do have this. This is the Watermelon Strawberry um, Shave Serum, Pre-Shave Serum. Love the packaging, very cute. It's in a glass bottle and it smells really delicious. And then they also have this shave cream here. I know that they're known for like their shave cream, like body creams and all of that. This smells so yummy. I smelled it and look how fun this is. Like, you just kind of like want to shave with this. You know what I mean? Love it. And then they also have this, which is the shave butter, after shave butter. I don't love how this one smells. Like, I like this one much more, but they only have this one for the butter part like I wish this was the butter and this was you know what I mean and then they also have this this these are acne patches in Powerpuff Girls version how fun love and then moving over to this side the lady here just told me that they started carrying this brand new brand this is called the balloon brand it's more like a clean type of brand they have like period care goods they had pads here which I would have purchased and then tampons they have the cramp oil they also have a deodorant this right here is a cleanser. They have an oil for acne prone skin and then a moisturizer. And then here are the prices. So I wouldn't say it's the cheapest ever, but I kind of like that it's somewhat pretty clean. They have goodies that, you know, a lot of brands don't necessarily have like this section here. I'm always looking for like goods in this section. Um, so yeah, I figured I would mention it in case you guys were curious. They have this brand online as well, she mentioned. And then you guys know I really, really love these Tree Hut brand. Um, they don't have any new scents necessarily, except I think I only spotted one maybe. Let me see. So I think that this here is actually a new one. I don't think I've ever seen the Papaya Paradise one, or maybe they just changed the packaging. It looks newish, so I don't know about that. Coconut Lime maybe is one that I haven't seen either. Cotton Candy smells amazing. It has a little bit of glitter in there, but it doesn't show up as much on the skin. It just like adds more of a vibe when you're using it, you know? I personally did not love their sugar face scrubs. They felt a bit harsh, but they have it here as an option if you guys were maybe wanting to try it. I'm in the wet and wild section and I had to show you guys this because I recently spotted it online on Ulta Set and I felt like the color story was so beautiful, right? You don't get way too many mattes in here, mostly like metallics, but I thought the color story was 10 out of 10 for sure. And these palettes by them are pretty good. I thought that they were nice. I know there were a lot of mixed reviews. What else? This is also, it seems like it's a new one. Like I don't think I've ever seen this one really pretty the, the color story is next level let me tell ya and then this one also i don't think yeah i'm pretty pretty sure these are new for 2022 correct me if i'm wrong though this i think i've seen yeah this is not necessarily a new one and then last time i did my ulta walkthrough video i showed you guys some new goods that nyx released so they released a bunch of like lip product bra products and all of that and then these as well so this looks amazing i didn't see this though it's just a silicone applicator nine dollars kind of a waste of money i would say because you could probably find it for two bucks but whatever love the yellow um this i haven't seen this is the plump right back what is this plumping serum interesting very cool oh okay so basically it's this product but in a small size if you don't want to buy the full size i typically do that buy the small one and then they have a bunch of lighteners they're really really well known for their lighteners um like this is the color you'll actually get on the eye i feel like with like bright liners sometimes they don't translate on the eye as much but i feel like with these they seem like they're going to be winners and then i wanted to pop by the hair section for a sec i always see this brand I haven't tried anything from them but i think it's made for those who have really really curly hair which i do so this might be nice you get a few goodies in here for i don't know how much this is I don't know, I don't think it's 25 bucks, maybe 27, I don't know, 25, 27, whatever. They have it as an option, but they also have the full size goodies as well if you wanted to try it out. We'll find this brand at TJ Maxx and Marshall sometimes, but not like their full line. Um, in this section, I wanted to just show you guys um, the new concealer by Morphe. It's the new filter effect radiant concealer, $12. And I wanna say there are about 20 different shades to choose from not that into their their complexion products i'll be honest with you guys i just dish i just not not you know what i mean <laughs> but they have it as an option maybe they're getting better and better i'm not sure i know the pre the items that i've tried from them in the past i wasn't a fan of so you know what i'm saying but yeah they have this here now 
They also have this kit if you wanted to try out some of their goods. A small little mint, which I love. The sponge is great, and a loose powder I haven't tried. But this is 20 bucks. A great way to test out their items, their goods, without, you know, pressing the full size. I always say that. 20 bucks valued at 25. They also have the bacon set uh, powder for $12. They have a mattifying mist here. This is the luminous mist. I typically use this and I love it. It's like the continuous regular setting mist that it, if you have oily or dry skin, that should work. Ulta just started carrying whey. I love how it says your body, your way. Love it. The scalp and body scrub is heaven. 38 bucks, but I'll tell you, once you try this, you'll be like, okay. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, no words really. So good. This dry shampoo is also a winner. It is $26. Love. I haven't tried this shampoo or conditioner. So I don't know what it's like, but they also have a body like cleanser, which I didn't know existed, and a body cream. I haven't tried this scent. I tried the other one, and I really like like the quality of it. Thirty eight bucks. Benefit released this brow styler. I want to say it's brand new. I've never seen this, so it's thirty four bucks. And here is what like you you know what the applicator looks like. You have the precise angle tip, and then you have the wax pencil as well. So here is kind of like what the product looks like. Focus, yeah. Really cool, they have the same packaging with this one as they do with their other products. And then the shades are here. I typically wear 3.5 or 4. I could probably wear that one too. But yeah, really, really cute packaging. They have really good brow products. I'm pretty happy with um, with how my brows look when I use their goods. I love the slots, like slot situation. Yum. Yum. <laughs> And then you guys know I am so pro these like kits. I love them. I think it's a great way to test out items without purchasing a full size. They usually do it for holidays, but like the holiday season, but I'm happy they do it even after. We get the new professional light primer, the mist, and then this professional primer. So cool for 25 bucks. Cannot be bait. I think it's pretty solid. In this section here, they have the drunk elephant <laughs> items. They have this kit basically. It says, oh yes, it's little night. So cute, I love the bag. It's like a nice and like mushy night out, yellow neon, we'll take it. Here are the items that you get in this kit. From my experience, most of the items I've tried from Drunk Elephant worked out really, really nicely for me. And then the jelly bag, just, just get it for the bag, it's so cute. Um, I see that Origins has a kit out now as well for $29. You get one, two, three, four, five items, their best selling items as well as the bag. I think that's a pretty, pretty good deal. They also have pretty nice items. I like their skincare a lot. I'm at the Too Faced section. They have a bunch of their little palettes here. I thought these were okay. I did declutter some of them. The color stories are pretty nice though. This is the newest one, the Major Love palette. And I mean, I spoke about it on my community tab. I think this is gorgeous. It's kind of reminding me of the new Urban Decay palette they just released, but I'm picking it up anyway because, just cause, just cause we have browns and greens in here. That's like my dream come true, you know? And then the packaging is also so cute. It's like more of like a matte finish, I would say. The other ones have more of like a glossy finish. Eee! Okay. Um, so they do have some more in stock. I did put one in my cart, like my bin thingy. <laughs> $27. They used, these used to be $25, so they raised the price. We realized that, okay, we noticed. Uh, they also have the Too Femme collection here. Last time I came to Ulta, they didn't have the palette, but they do have the full line if you guys were wanting this. They have this available on Sephora site and Sephora stores as well if you prefer to purchase this from there. But I did get this and the blush, which I'll show you guys in a future haul. I have to get my holes up soon because, yeah, it's been a minute, but... I'm excited for this one because it's the cutest thing ever. Um, I did pop by the Drunk Elephant display, so they do have a bunch of skincare goodies. I thought they only carry just a select few, but no, they seem like they have like the full line. Uh, Drunk Elephant also makes body care items if you guys were interested. I love their packaging. Everything is so like neon, so vibrant, so like alive. This is one of my favorite products. One second, yeah. The TLC Sukari Baby Facial. This makes your face feel like a baby's butt. Like your face feels yum with this. I've repurchased this so many times. It's $80. But I'm telling you, I, I, I don't know if I've ever saw such a difference in my skin um, until I use this. Like it's really very good. But don't leave it on for too long because if you do, like I thought I'll leave it on longer. It'll, you know, even look even better. But it actually kind of burns your face. So, just, you know what I mean? Listen to the directions basically. And then Buxom has some items here um, that are brand new. I want to say this is maybe in time for Valentine's Day. I'm not sure. The most popular shade is Dolly. So this is a Dolly limited edition collection. Um, let me show you. There are two palettes. So there are five pan palettes. Very, very cute. 
kind of tiny though. It's kind of reminding me of ColourPop. I feel like everything is ColourPop lately because they've done everything in and out kind of thing. Anyway, here's what this palette looks like. This is called Wink Wink. And then, how do you put this back? And then this one right here is called Now Pose. So this, uh, this has a few deeper tones. The shades are really tiny though, like they're kind of small. Um, how much is this? $26. They also have a new gloss, which is Dolly Glamour Glamouridi. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, okay, it's over, it's done. For $21, like a future, and then Dolly Glitz is, um, look like a glittery shade. I love this color. Very pretty, like a nude mauve situation. But yeah, that's what's going on here in this section. They also have some skincare kits here uh, by Juice Beauty. You get this really nice like lilac bag. It's a really nice quality one. You get a bunch of items in here. The prices, like I don't see the prices of anything, but oh, 58 bucks. Okay, fine, on here. And this is $59. You get full size items. The You get the eye treatment and mascara, and then I think a liner, liquid liner. And then we have a Kylie Cosmetics kit here as well, which I've seen a few times, but if you're wanting to try out the brand, but you don't want to spend, you know what I'm saying? I keep saying that. <laughs> 38 buckaroos for this one. I constantly mention this, but the Beauty Blender is my favorite sponge ever. They have this Indulge in the Best collection, the ice cream one. I don't know if this is brand new, but it comes with a sponge and like a cleanser on the bottom there for 20 bucks. They have the cleansers here, the solid cleansers, the liquid ones, if you guys are wanting to try these. I've tried this one and I did like it. I also don't think I've ever seen this. <laughs> See, that's why I need a second eye. $24. You, still you get the full size it? sponge. Uh -huh. You get the liquid it? limited edition it's cleanser, I want to say. There? And then the item on, on the, the bottom floor? there. So, all of these goods for $24. I'm at the Tarte section and I spotted this kit that they just released. You get four little ones in here. I think it's based off of their bigger palettes. They were probably like inspired by that, you know what I mean? This, uh, you get three eye palettes here and one face. So the Tartlet, the Big Eagle, Lights, Camera, Lashes palette, and then the Park Avenue Princess. I think their, mas their mascaras, I think their shadows are nice. I feel like lately they've just been pretty mediocre compared to everything else that came out, but not bad. I think that they're still pretty workable and you can get nice looks with them. And then I do like their face powders, especially the Park Avenue Princess line is really, really good. One of my favorite bronzers for sure. But yeah, they have this here. Okay, and then for this part, I had to do a voiceover. The music was insanely loud. I popped by the Jaclyn Cosmetics section. They had a bunch to choose from, from like palettes to lip products. They had this uh, liquid lipstick kit, which included three of the liquid lipsticks. I thought it was pretty neat. I didn't even know that this existed. Then I spotted this lip liner and liquid lipstick duo. This is in, I want to say, Unwrap Me. It's a gorgeous, like, red. But then we have this one, which is a little bit more of a truer red, cherry-ish type of red. You know what I'm saying? So those are only two I found when it comes to that. She also had these blush palettes available in two different color stories for, I want to say, $45. Cute packaging. Here's, uh, I would say, the pinkier tone palette, pinkier, like, neutral new tone palette. I think these would be great to mix and match or wear each one individually. And then she had this one, which is slightly uh, warmer in tone. And we get nudes in here, but also like just warmer tone shades. So here are the items that I bought in the meantime. Um, but I'll show you guys a haul later. What? All right, so that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me just show you the train. Let me show you this. Here's what we're working with. One sec. I know you guys love when I show you bits and pieces of like New York, Brooklyn, the city, all of that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to what's new at Ulta. I think I covered all the displays. I did pick up a few goodies, so... I'll show you. I'm not going to show you now. I'm going to show you briefly. But I picked up this like New Hampshire like sweatshirt from Hollister for 44 bucks ish It says New Hampshire on it. So I'm representing New Hampshire. Let me know if you guys are from there. I don't think I've ever been. But then I also just picked up just tons of stuff. A wall should hopefully be up sometime soon. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. You don't even know. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Let me know if you guys picked up anything new from Ulta recently. And yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.